Hi guys, having a second look at these action cameras. This is the one with the scratched lens. You might just be able to see it. If I focus. Yeah, that's got a scratch on it. This is one of my other action cameras that has other problems, so I don't use it. Now, Mike Flight had noticed that when I'd filmed it, you could see some screws down here. Well, they actually hold the sensor in place. So that occurs to me that I could try swapping the sensors over. There's no particular reason for them to be directly swappable. But I'm not going to lose anything by trying. So as you can see, I've completely taken them apart. Uh, what I did last time was I stopped short of actually disconnecting the back ribbon cable that holds the display in place. So I've taken that one off and I've taken this one off. You can see the ribbon cable there for the display. So I'm going to take that sensor off and swap it with that, that one over there and see if we can get it working. So I don't think I'm going to lose anything because that one doesn't work anyway. In fact, one of the problems with that one was the colours. So swapping the sensor may be a bad idea. But either way, I don't think I lose anything. So we'll give it a go. I didn't show you. There's a little flap that comes up just there. I don't know if I can do that with one hand. Yeah, there we are. That releases the ribbon cable. So I should be able to lift that off. And put it over here and we'll find out if it works well I just had a positive result there that piece actually came off the sensor on this one I got the impression it was all in one piece but I might be able to pop that off too and then we can just swap the lens housing across. Because we may have problems then focusing it. We'll see. One step forward, two steps back. Well, as I said, <laughs> one step forwards, two steps back. This one, the sensor is well stuck on the back of there. I can't get it off. Well, I probably could if I stick a knife blade in there but the other one where are we? the other one came off came off the back of there with no trouble at all so I'm going to try and swap the whole thing across first if that works great if it doesn't work then I'll have to get a knife in there and get the sensor off the back well we're not there yet. It's firing up, but it doesn't go past that startup. So it looks like it doesn't like that sensor. Well, I'm afraid that was a bad idea. Because this one, the sensor is actually glued on the back of the lens. And as you can see, trying to remove it, I've actually damaged it. So no good to anybody now, that one. Still, as I say, I'll lose nothing because this one didn't work. I suppose I could actually try and clamp that and see if I can unscrew the lens now. Right, a bit of brute force and ignorance. We've actually been able to unscrew that lens now. Whether I can do the same with the other one. We'll find out, but that one's now no use whatsoever. So this is the scratched one.
Ooh, that doesn't want to move. No, that's not working. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, we're no step, no further forwards. Well, a bit more brute force and ignorance, and I did manage to get that one to come free as well. So now, that's the other lens. That's the scratched one. That's the other lens. So we'll see if we can fit that back over the sensor. Now you might see it's actually distorted a bit where I've had to crush it, to grip it, to turn it. So I'm not holding out much hope, but it's passing the time, isn't it? I mean, they're quite different in their looking at them. We'll see. Right, so we've now got the original sensor and the other camera's lens. So now it fires up, but I think you can see we're totally out of focus. So can I adjust this? in any direction. That doesn't appear to be improving the focus going that way. Oh, come on, low battery. Oh, right, I'll go and get another battery for it. Right, different battery. Try that again. No sign of it focusing yet. I don't think we're going to manage. Nah, nothing like focused. It's come all the way out. Right, nothing focused. <laughs> uh, not even vaguely focused. We're not getting anywhere here, guys. We're trying, but we're not getting anywhere. Didn't 
even look vaguely focused. if we try and no I'm just trying an extra lens outside just to see if that'd help but that's not doing anything Oh, something's cracked. Yep. Where are we? Housing's cracked there. I've screwed it in too far. It was just beginning to look like it might focus. Just beginning to make out some sort of shapes there. Oh, look at that. We got focus, <laughs> but it's moved right out of line now. Oh, would you believe it? That's cracked. Well, we've had to push it in so far. Well, that's pretty frustrating. I've got it in focus now, but I've had to screw that in so far. It's all out of alignment. Well, we'll put this down to experience. Obviously that lens is a completely different focal length to the one that was in there. And we've had to push it in much further than the other one was.
Now, I think you can now see I've got it in focus, but clearly that lens is useless on that sensor. Okay, well, we'll box it all up because it's not going to be any use, but we've learned something. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.